What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new MailChimp inbox, which will allow you to communicate directly with your subscribers. So let's get started. So this is something that's brand new to MailChimp. I think it just came out this week. At least this is the first time I've seen it in my MailChimp account. So I've started exploring a little bit of it and I just want to show you what I've learned so far. So we're over inside my MailChimp account and this is actually on the free version. It was a legacy account that is now free. So let me know in the comments below if this uh, service is now available for you as it is for me in this modified free account. Uh, I wanted to make sure it was there before I did this video. So what you have to do here is just go to Inbox. Now I have already started playing around with this. So initially you'll get a tour that you can go through and it will tell you exactly what this Inbox does. Uh, but I just wanted to show you real hands-on stuff here. So let's just go over some things in the interface here. So it looks normal, like a normal Inbox that you would see in Gmail or whatever any type of email provider. So on the left-hand side, they have a few options here for things that come into your inbox. Now it has forwarded emails, which are emails that are forwarded from a subscriber to another person that you might get feedback or you might get a reply from, right? You have campaign replies, and we'll get to that in a little bit, how that works. And then we have survey follow-ups. So in MailChimp surveys, from your audience tab, not the MailChimp polls and surveys, different thing. Uh, you can get um, replies to the surveys and the contact form, which we'll take a look at how to set that up real quickly. And then in the middle here, you can search for messages and you have a to-do, a done, a trash and all. So I've been playing around with this for a little bit and you can see here that I've started some conversations with myself <laughs> back and forth, just as a test, right? So down here at the bottom on the left, you have inbox settings. So if we click on that, you can have a preferred profile name. So when you respond to somebody, you can set that up here. So you could do that or you could um, also send an email saying, hey, someone put something in your inbox. So you can set that up here as well. So you can get a notification when someone inboxes or emails you in your inbox, or replies to something in your inbox, okay? So that's what I've done here. Let's click Save. Another thing you'll notice up here on the, on the left side again, if you click on Manage, you have options here already available and then MailChimp is asking for your feedback if you're interested in other connections such as on-site chat or Facebook chat, that plugin that you can do with Facebook chat or uh, Instagram direct messages. So they're looking for your feedback. So if you click on you're interested, it'll ask you to fill out a form why you're interested in that type of topic and uh, how could it help your business and that type of thing, okay? So um, if you'd like, you can fill those out. Uh, but you can add a contact form. So let's say you want people to fill out a contact form before they reach you. You can do that here. You can customize the form. So let's do that. You can click on here. You can set up an image. I don't see where you can put in other labels or anything like that or other fields. So you have email, subject, and message. And then you have the submit. You can change the background color if you want. Uh, then you click next. And then you have a message that you can change if you'd like. And then click Next. And now you have a contact form ready to go. So in this case, my form is connected to this audience. And so I can share out this URL. So I can publish the form. And then I can go to check it out in the inbox. And here's our contact form. So I can view the contact form. And then I can share out that URL. Okay, so take a look at this stuff here. That's under the Manage tab, the Manage link right here. Back at Messages here, the other thing you can do is you can set up labels that you can apply to your inbox messages. So you, all right, now I just created a label called Errors, and I applied that label right here. You can see that right here. I applied that label to this message that I got from this particular person. You can also add a tag uh, up here to this particular contact. So I can go in here, 
and right now I have store and test in there, but I can add in other uh, tags or I can create a tag. I can just start typing to create a tag. So do hello and I will say create hello and I can do that and then apply that tag. So you can add tags right here to that contact. If I click this link, it'll take me over to that particular contact in your uh, contact or your audience list, right? So if I wanna click on the and create an email, I'd have to upgrade to a paid plan. So keep that in mind. I mean, this interface reminds me a lot of Facebook uh, messenger or when you get messages to your Facebook page that type of layout so you can mark it done right here you can click reply right here or you can add a comment for internally for a person to uh, other people to see what you've maybe communicated or maybe there's a special circumstance where you need to add in a comment for other people in your team to know what's going on for your campaign replies to show up in this inbox, you'll have to add it as a option when you before you send out your campaign. So let's take a look at that now. So let's go let's go back to our account here. Let's go to create. We'll just do a simple email. We'll do uh, hello one two three four five six. Click begin. Add recipients. There we go. It's uh, interesting that they're now recommending the personal to field. Uh, I haven't seen that before. So click on that and do the F name. There you go, click save. And uh, that's that, and we're all set with that. So uh, let's just change the subject line, click save. When you're creating a campaign like this, scroll all the way down here to settings and tracking and then click on edit and then scroll down here and then you'll see use inbox to manage replies. Now I clicked that on the previous campaign I sent and it's stored by default now apparently. So this will allow you to receive a reply when someone replies to your campaign uh, I will get a notification because we set that up that someone replied and then I can go into my MailChimp account and then I can reply from there. Okay, so make sure that you have that ticked off if you want to receive replies to your inbox on MailChimp now. Okay, so how the campaign replies work. So you send out your campaign as you normally would and then this person said the newsletter is missing a lot of content what gives and I replied from the inbox on MailChimp to say hmm we're really sorry about that let's investigate and get back to you. So I could reply back here so you see all of that transpire here in this thread and I could mark it as done I can hit reply and I'll say looks like we goofed we'll send you another email shortly, okay? And I can also include an opt-out footer. So let's see what that looks like. And then I'll send the message. Now you could also add an attachment, you can add a link, you can add bulleted lists, underline, italics, and bold, but we'll just keep it nice and simple. We'll click send message. And I'll say message to Larry Snow has been sent. And if we go over to our inbox, it'll say new message. And it's, cont it's continuing in that thread of the original campaign that was sent. And, and immediately I get it. It says, looks like we goofed. We'll send another one email shortly. And then me as the subscriber has an option to opt out. Or I can reply back and say, Thanks. And then we'll click send. Now when that reply goes, it's gonna take a little bit of time before it gets into the MailChimp inbox. So keep that in mind. And for me, it took about a minute or so before I saw it in the MailChimp inbox. But for now, what we can do right now is we can just mark this as done. So if we go to the done pile, 
there is our done pile and we can move it back to to do and or we can continue with replying back to this particular contact and here is our thanks and we can click on show history if we'd like so there you go guys that's a quick look at mailchimp inbox let me know what you think in the comments below I personally, I'm going to use it. I think it's a nice addition to the MailChimp account. Obviously, that negative is that you can't inbox, you can't send an email to anybody without a paid account. But if you have a paid account, you can do that. So if you're new here and you like this type of content, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click the like button. And I'll see you in the next video.